everyone and welcome back to Big Baz Baz Beekeeping. Uh, this is just a quick update video to remind you that even though it's been such a long time since my last update, uh, I haven't forgotten about you guys. Uh, I did promise in my last video that I was going to put bees in the hive this spring. It's now pretty much summer, uh, so as you can guess it hasn't happened this year. Sadly, um, I had work commitments, that uh, means I'm going to be going away for several months and I don't think it was a good idea starting my first brand new hive and then disappearing for several months. Uh, so it has been postponed till next year. Uh, I have now completely finished the hive. Uh, I've also made a few additions to it, uh, which we'll have a look at. Uh, it is good to go as soon as next spring comes around. I'm going to put a package in it and there'll be a new video for that. So look forward to that. Please feel free to share this around and subscribe if you uh, want a notification of when that happens. So what have I done to the hive? Well, let's have a look. So here is my hive now. Uh, I have given it three coats of tongue oil so it's nice and protected. I've also given the roof a nice uh, couple of coats of this grey slate outdoor wood paint so that's also nice and protected. Also slightly taller than you might remember it. I have added a second brood box. I can't remember if I mentioned I was going to do such. Um, however, my plan is, and please correct me if you disagree with this, because as I said, I am brand new. Uh, bottom one I am going to keep as the brood box. I'm then going to put the queen excluder here. This I'm going to use as a permanent super that I will not touch, and it will stay on permanently for the bees to use as their own food storage, because I don't want to artificially feed them uh after their first year if i can avoid it so that will literally be their food store and then obviously the super will go on and off as needed also as well uh, i saw this year that flow have started doing a new product which you'll see at the bottom here and it is an entrance reducer it's not really showing up on the video there it's not really good light in here i'm afraid um so metal entrance reducer all i've done is undone the screw and then uh popped it in and then put the same screw back in uh you can buy the flow high two with these now and also a ant prevention leg um but if you've already got a flow hive two you can buy the parts separately and simply fit them on as you've seen i've done with this here not done the not got the ant legs um i'll see how i go with if i have a problem with ants i might upgrade to them uh so that's the front Let's have a look at the back. And there we can see it at the, ba at the back. Nice golden colour that come from that uh, tongue oil. It's a bit darker in this light. It's not as dark as it looks on the video. Um, and I think it went, it looks quite good. I was quite really, I was really happy with the colour it came out. Makes the brass really pop on it as well. Yeah, and I'm actually quite excited about getting the bees in when I get them next year. Ooh. So that's it for me, guys. Um, thanks very much for watching. As I said, please feel free to subscribe, share this about, and uh, hopefully next year we'll actually get the bees in. Oh, catch you next time.